Hello, this is Heather and I work alongside Kevin Hanley. Last week we did a Q&A and we answered your questions on the after sales process and how to help speed up the legal process once you found a buyer. Today we're going to round up the top three questions that we were asked and give you a little bit of advice on how to get your sale through in time for the new year. Firstly, choose your solicitor early. So there's loads of different options available for you now, very similar to kind of a state agency and, and the different services that you can get. Um, so you can get a more of an online solicitor that will have an online portal that you can load your documents up to, or you could go down the local solicitor route that's got an office for you to visit. Um, speak to friends and family and get recommendations. You can post in your local Facebook groups and also get recommendations from there. And also, if you've decided which estate agent you're working with, they will probably have a solicitor that they could recommend to you as well. So definitely have a chat with your estate agent. But you should be choosing your solicitor at the time that your house goes on the market. So whilst you're going through the valuation stages and you're speaking with estate agents and preparing your home for market, now is a really good time to start thinking about which solicitor you want to use and start getting quotes. There's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, once you have chosen your solicitor, there's some preliminary paperwork to get done initially. Um, so this will be things like your starter pack and your property information form, ID checks and things like that. The sooner you can get these things done, the better it will help in the long run when it comes to the after sales process. It just saves so much time. Um, and little things like the certificate for your boiler service last year and the fencer document for the windows that you had done. All these things, if you can start gathering these as soon as possible, it's just going to help speed up that process as soon as you find a buyer. The other really good reason for choosing a solicitor at this stage is if you do have a solicitor in mind or there is somebody that has come recommended, then it is really important to check that they have got availability to take on your case. Um, the market has been particularly busy this year and it has been the case that a lot of solicitors have had to turn away business because they can only handle a certain number of cases at any one time. So just make sure that that solicitor that you have in mind does have time to deal with your case and if they don't, that you have a backup option in place just in case. Another question that came up quite a lot was about agreement in principles, um, when you should get an agreement in principle, what an agreement in principle is and how you go about getting one. So firstly, an agreement in principle is, is just that, it's, it's for your mortgage, it is an agreement in principle. So subject to them checking the property and normally doing a few further checks, it's essentially a document from your lender to say, we are happy to lend this person this amount of money. It's really important you get this done as soon as possible and really you should be getting it done before you go out viewing properties. Um, you need to speak to a mortgage advisor, you could speak to your bank, but we would recommend that you speak to an independent mortgage broker that can look at the whole of the market for you. And if you are looking for mortgage advice, then by all means just message myself or Kevin and we'll be able to get you in touch with somebody that can help. Um, generally an agreement in principle will last six months. Um, some of them are slightly shorter, some of them are a little bit longer, but generally it'll be six months. So. Getting an agreement in principle very early at the start of your property search um, is no problem because you've got all that time in the world um, to, to find a property and get a mortgage application in place. Um, but definitely get that done as soon as possible, definitely before you start viewing and definitely speak to an independent mortgage broker. The benefit of getting this done early is one, when the market is very busy, it puts you in a much stronger position when you do put your offer forward. And two, once you've secured a property and you're going through the application stage, the last thing you, I mean, you probably would struggle to secure a property anyway without an agreement in principle, but if by the chance you did, um, you've then got to go through that whole process um, and that can take a couple of weeks sometimes by the time you gather the paperwork that you need, pay slips, bank statements and things like that. The more of that that you can get done earlier, the better in the long run and it will help save a lot more time further down the line. The last question that came up quite a lot was about um, how to manage the process when you're in rented accommodation. So um, if you are in rented and you're not selling a property and you're buying, it's really difficult to manage those timescales because obviously you're paying rent on one property and you're going to be soon responsible for a mortgage on another. Um, obviously, when you're buying and selling together, you typically will complete on the same day and it's a nice, easy smooth process one transition the transition from one property to another but in this case with rented accommodation it's not quite so simple you obviously need to give a month or two months notice whatever it is that you've agreed with your landlord um, and it's not always 
guaranteed when you'll be moving um, into your new home. So it can be really tricky to manage and we fully understand that. Um, the best thing to do is absolutely communicate with your estate agent all the way through and at point of offer, just make it really clear that that is your position um, and that can be considered further down the line and, and with, the, with the rest of the chain. Um, so definitely do that, communicate with your estate agent. But also, again, there's no guarantees, but most estate agents would recommend that around the stage of mortgage offer, so you've had your offer agreed, you've submitted your mortgage application, you've had the survey done on the property and mortgage offer has come back. Usually at this point, you're maybe waiting on the search or some searches and you're waiting on maybe a few inquiries back from your seller and possibly the rest of the chain. Um, but for your own transaction, you're at this stage, once you get your mortgage offer, it's normally just searches and inquiries that we're waiting on. Um, that's a really good point to start thinking about handing in your notice. Um, you'll normally, once you've got mortgage offer, it's you're in a much better position. You know that the finance is there and really it's it's downhill from there, really. It's it's normally a fairly easy process from, from here on out. So from that point, you know you've probably got a month to two months, um, probably not even that, to be honest, um, depending on the situation and depending on the rest of the chain. But communicate with your estate agent. And I'd say definitely when you get to mortgage offer stage, that's when it start, it's time to have a, a more of a serious conversation with your estate agent around timescales, possibly with the person you're buying from if you're in direct contact with them and also having a chat with your landlord. Some can be really, really flexible if you can just talk to them or your letting agent and explain your situation. Some can put you on a kind of more of a flexible rolling contract. So definitely have a conversation with them. If you have any other questions about moving by the end of the year, it's very, very tight and it's unlikely, but it's possible. Um, and particularly if you've already started the process and you're you're going through and you've just, there's the last few things, but you want to make sure you're in by the end of the year and you want any advice, then by all means, contact myself or Kevin, message us on Facebook or Instagram and we'll be happy to help. Um, and if you're thinking of moving now or in the new year, then by all means, again, give us a give us a message. We'll be happy to give you any advice that you need, uh, whether you're ready to move now or whether you're looking to move in the future. And again, if you're looking to move and you need to secure a mortgage or you would like a recommendation for a solicitor, then please do get in touch. And last but not least, be sure to check out our Halloween giveaway. So Kevin is giving away a luxury Halloween hamper, which is going to be full of things from local businesses in the area. Um, so what we want to see is your best dressed Halloween houses. So whether you've got a nice autumnal front door set up or whether you've got a spooky set up indoors or whatever you've got set up, um, anything Halloween, autumnal, we'd love to see it. Just take a picture, upload it to your social and tag us in on Facebook, Instagram, however you want to do it to be entered into the draw. And then Kevin and I will look at all of the entries on Saturday and we'll announce the winner in time for Halloween. <laughs>